And also, I had a viral video happen when that happened. Yes. Hey, what is up? Hello, you guys. My name is Nick, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. And as always, you are still not watching Disney Channel. Wow, that was a very intense intro. So, as always, make sure to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below so that you can see more of my amazing, mediocre, awful content. I don't know. Make the decision for me, baby. Make the decision for me. So today, I am back to talk about another celebrity I've met. So can I please get a drum roll? <laughs> Miss Madison Beard, the beautiful, the awesome, the talented. And here's the thing, not only did I meet her once, but I met her twice, twice. Ugh, I wish I could have met Billy twice, but I didn't. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hop on into how I met Madison Beard twice and how I actually got to hang out with her the second time I met her and kind of the first. So I met her the first time about three years ago and it was just back around when she only had like a million-ish followers on Instagram. And it was like when she didn't even have her um, album as she pleases out yet. So it was just back when she had like something sweet, dead and um, whatever else there was. I don't know, I don't know. So about three years ago, I went to my first Pride in um, Atlanta and she actually performed there. And so pretty much it's just like a stage with a barricade that's like right there. And it was like super empty that year for some reason. I was actually just about to leave. I was like, this is boring. I want to go home, I'm tired. And as I'm like walking up, I hear a song. It's funny because I had just learned that song like a week before. Like I know she was gonna be there or anything, but I heard the song. I was like, wait. And at first, I'm not gonna lie, I mistaked her for a different celebrity. I mistaked her for Maggie Winterman, if you guys know who that is. But I was like, you guys, like we need to go back and see her. And then I got to the stage, I was like, wait, that's literally Madison Beer. That's Madison freaking Beer. So I'm out there jamming out to like her songs that she knows. She did a couple of covers and it was super awesome. So after everything ended, she ended up like walking to the barricade and she was taking a bunch of pictures with fans. And of course, me right there on the barricade waiting to see her. I was like, oh my gosh, like you're so beautiful. And also I had a viral video happen when that happened. Yes. What's up, Nick? I love you so much. So there's like a video where she's like, hey Nick, like you're so hot and sexy, love you. And I posted it on my Instagram and all the Madison Beer fan pages went crazy and started posting it and then it like blew up and it was like all these meme accounts were like, oh my gosh, she's so gorgeous, she's so beautiful. And I was like, that's my video, that's my freaking video. So then my video went viral and then I had a couple of pictures with her that kind of like blew up with all the fan pages and stuff. And it was like me and Madison against the world, baby. It was me and Madison against the world. So that was the first time. And then after it um, happened, we actually hung out on the green. We like watched a couple of artists together and it was just like super chill and cute and cool. So fast forward a year, I do the same exact thing where I go to Pride and I meet her again. This time back and better than ever. So I go back to Pride and I'm like sitting on the barricade watching her play or whatever. And I go up and after she finishes, I was like, Madison. And she was like, oh my gosh. I was like, hey, and like I showed her our pictures from last year and stuff. And then I brought up something personal that we had talked about. She was like, oh my gosh, I remember you perfectly. Like you were the sweetest little sweetheart. Love you so much or whatever. And so then I actually got to like kind of go back and talk to her like privately for a little bit. We had like a quick little chit chat or whatever. Got some more pictures, took another video. But I don't think that I actually sent this video to anybody because when it did blow up, I got like no credit for it the first time. And it was just like kind of an intimate video, which I really loved. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and share it right now since I am making this video. The pride before. <laughs> You're so beautiful. But I'm here because Bye. Love you. it's love important. You but she was so sweet yet again. And she's like, oh my gosh, I love you so much. And after all of that, um, we just kind of like chit chat and talk. And then after that one, for whatever reason, I guess she had something that she had to do and her manager was being like a little eh. So she actually had to like go immediately like following it. So we didn't even get to talk for super long, but she left or whatever. And that was that honestly, like she left. And um, yeah, that was actually the last time that I saw her. And so the following year, so this would be year three, she actually didn't go and perform and I actually didn't go either just cause like I didn't really like the lineup and I was busy. And I mean like, it's cool and all. I just like didn't really have like a super crazy exciting time when I went so I didn't really feel the need to go back a third time and she wasn't there and she was like the reason I look forward to going but when I met her she was like the sweetest sweetheart I've ever met in my life like such a sweet and genuine person and she's so real I feel so bad that she gets like a lot of hate on her social medias and stuff because she's really like such a sweet and kind-hearted person like I cannot stress this enough and people are always like oh she did like all this messy stuff I was like it's her love life you guys let's be honest you guys all of us have our messy love lives that we just do not share and put out there and because she is like um an influencer or a celebrity or whatever you like wanna 
label her as and she was dating another influencer slash celebrity there's just kind of like publicized and it did get messy but here's the thing people have messy things like that happen all the time it's just not on a public field so people don't really notice it so she was really just like us and we talked about like insecurities and things of that nature and it's like at the end of the day we're all freaking people and i didn't even like really see her as a celebrity like when i was talking to her how i was just like yo like you're a friend you're a cool person you're just another person that i met so she was super sweet and she is so talented i honestly wish the best for her and i miss her so much i don't know how but she just keeps managing to get like more and more pretty and beautiful and it honestly drives me insane like it blows my mind you guys and so hopefully someday i do get to meet her again i'd actually really like to be like her friend friend because of course when i was hanging out with her i was like oh my gosh follow me on my social medias oh my gosh follow me like on this and that and all this other stuff like no there were no cameras like when we were talking having our private conversations there were no cameras there was no like wires mics it was literally just two people hanging out and talking it's like if you hang out with your friends you're not gonna put a camera in their face and i just know like how obnoxious that is and at the end of the day i was just like you're a normal person just like the rest of us but it was just a super good experience and i honestly wouldn't trade for the world madison if you're seeing this i love you so much and if you guys love Madison, please comment and show some love down to her below. But as always, you guys, make sure to go ahead and subscribe, comment, and like down below. Show me some love as well as Madison because we love her so freaking much. And also, I've met Billie Eilish, Phineas O'Connell, and Troy Sivan. So I'll go ahead and like link those videos in the description. Maybe I'll put them on the end card. I'll make a little playlist for you guys to watch if you want to see me meet other celebrities. And I just, I've had such good celebrity interactions. And all these people have been so sweet and genuine. And I've had really special interactions with like all of them that other fans don't really have. So they're super special and close to my heart but thank you guys for watching yet another one of my videos it means so 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 much to me and have an amazing day stay beautiful stay healthy stay hydrated do what you gotta do but most importantly leave a like comment and subscribe down below all right you guys bye